action Tell me what's happening Wish your mind wrapped in Wrapped around Wrap, Wrapped around Wrapped around wrap, wrap. Hey guys, Editors Depot. Hope you're all having an amazing day. I know we are over here. We recently launched a brand new YouTube channel and it's doing really well. So if you haven't heard about it, you're living under a rock. I suggest you guys to go check it out. It's annotated on the screen right now and it's actually in the description as well. It's Editors Depot Plus. It's pretty much templates all over again, except guys, those templates are completely different. So you're never gonna see those, those templates on this channel ever. And on top of that, they're pretty much good, just as good if not better. So go check it out, don't be as scared. But let's actually continue with this tutorial for those of you who are in a hurry. So all you're going to want to do is open up Cinema 4D. And once you open up Cinema 4D, your animation is going to look a little like this. But all you're going to want to do is take on these two Motex layers and make sure you select the first one and then the second one, right? While holding shift so you hover over both. Now you're going to hover the name field here and you're going to replace the text with whatever it is you want. Now as far as the font goes, you want to make sure you have pre-installed the font before opening up this program because if you have not, then you're going to get a really weird ugly looking font. So I suggest you guys go install the font that was included in the zip file before you open up the program. If you haven't, go ahead and close it and reopen it. Now if you're happy with the color, then we're pretty much ready to go. Except if you're not, you want to double click and make any modifications that you want right here. But we're happy with our red, we're, lo we're loving it, so we're actually going to open up our render settings. You're going to make sure you go to 1920 times 1080 on your width, make sure that that's like that. And if you're in a hurry or you have a slower computer, render it as 1280 by 720. That way you get a really fast render. Next thing you want to do is make sure your frame rate is at 30 frames per second and this is ticked at all frames. Now to really increase render speed, here's the thing guys, you want to make sure it's saved as a PNG sequence and make sure you, when you save it, it's inside of a folder so you keep these things organized. The guy that who made this template, he was on, he was nice enough to make sure you guys had a folder to render it. So we've already rendered ours, but make sure you render it under render it here. That's the that's the folder he included for you guys, and you're gonna make sure you name it whatever it is you want. This is gonna organize itself. But that's pretty much it, guys. You render it inside of that folder, and you hit this orange button here, and you're ready to go. Now we're gonna move on to After Effects. Now once you open up Adobe After Effects, you're going to notice immediately a couple of things. You might or might not need a couple of the plugins that were required for this template. Now here's the thing guys, if you do not have them, it's not the end of the world. Don't dislike this video, don't go comment saying, oh I hate you guys, you didn't tell me. But guys, you can still make this template, you can still make it work, so don't be alarmed. Just continue with this video and let's see how it turns out. But if you do have these things and you are ready, or even if you don't have them but you want to continue, let's actually do continue. So you're going to double click here where it's pretty much 0 to 300 and that means that is your entire frame range. You're going to double click and you're going to import the entire sequence you have. So you open up the folder where you rendered out your sequence, you select the first frame and you scroll all the way to the bottom and you tick on the last frame while holding shift. Now you tick this button here that says PNG sequence, you should have it for Windows as well, and you hit open. That's going to import your entire render and it's going to look, it's going to look like gold. Sorry guys. Now guys, are pretty much we're pretty much done here. All I want to mention is if your video if your song is not here, you're simply going to right click and replace footage and import the song that he included in the description. Sorry, not in the description in the file. So guys, we're pretty much done here. I hope you guys appreciate this video. I hope you guys appreciate this tutorial and have fun with this template. Remember, if you haven't subscribed to Editors Depot Plus, it is in the description and it will be annotated right here. So I hope you guys have an amazing day. Take care, guys. Peace.